it's the same people, the same writing, and the same spirit that uh, was always ELP in the 70s. I, I've met Greg in London by chance one day. We've been keeping in touch through the, uh, when we uh, dispersed in 79. We, we kept in touch. You're running with the devil, it's touching go. With Cozy, the chemistry was instant. I mean, that's why it was it was obvious to us that it was the right thing to do. And right now on the road, we've got this tour with this mixed media type of uh, technology, which we're, we're finding it very exciting to work with. Stunning, stunning thing to look at and to see, as well as listen to. It's all in quadraphonic and uh, it's quite something. And supersonic as well. And it? supersonic. <laughs> and subsonic. Yeah. <laughs> Every type of sonic you can think of, in fact. I've never seen anything quite like the, the uh, technology that we've used on this tour. And some of the effects that have come in and almost daily from England, uh, the, the, the latest lighting designs and uh, the effects that are literally being worked on as we speak. And then they, they fire them out as soon as they've got them. It's just the, the latest tweaks, if you like. And uh, it's, it's amazing to see what can be done these days. And I mean, I think this tour is, is breaking new branches again uh, to all the tours that have gone before. Uh, so it certainly impresses me. I and mean, I've seen quite a lot of tours. So, well, we're coming to see. In America, if, uh, if, you, win the, the, uh, if you win fans in America, you keep them, it would seem, for a lifetime. They really are dedicated and they, they stay with you, you know, that's, that's what it is. Because we're European, Perhaps there's more of a classical influence than in America it would be country or blues perhaps more. And it's it's perhaps that's one side of us that you you might find unusual. We've got people out there who have been fans since the 70s. And we've got people who are the younger brothers and sisters of people who are the fans in the 70s. And so there's a complete cross-section of, of an audience. I'm Keith Emerson. I'm Greg Lake. And I'm Cozy Powell from Emerson, Lake and Powell. We're all here together tonight on MTV to be your guest VJs. And we've picked about three and a half videos each. We all agreed on David Lee Roth because it's so outrageous. 3.3. 3.3, in fact. Uh, right. We've got some shots of the Beatles coming up. We've got some shots of Robert Palmer. The uh, Rhythmics. Loads all of stuff. kinds, isn't it? I'm, I'm, I'm only I mean, here just to, don't go away. to show our video. Yeah. <laughs> OK, we'll get right on with it. This is clay animation at its very best. It's Peter Gabriel with Sledgehammer. A quick impersonation of Peter Gabriel.
Yes. That was marvellous. There you had uh, Peter Gabriel impersonating Keith Emerson. And very bad it was too, if I may say so. Peter Gabriel, by the way, comes from Bath, a lovely part of England, which is where I come from as well. Don't worry. But uh, I'll try and get over it. <laughs> and now we're going to go to a commercial break. Hi, I'm Keith Emerson. I'm Greg Lake. And I'm Cozy Powell. Ta da! <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, is it me? It's your cue, dear boy. Oh, yeah, uh, do you like I've, got some, I've got some nice tour dates here to read you out. Apparently, we're, on, we're in Charleston, West Virginia on the 25th, Hampton, Virginia on the 27th, Richmond, Virginia on the 28th, and the 30th, we're in Johnson City, Tennessee. That's got great. Absolutely yeah. nothing to do with the next what? video we're doing. Well, that's... um Love Me Do, I believe. Well, yes, that's right. The Beatles. Do you remember the Beatles? I do indeed. Yeah. It's, uh, um, I wasn't really into the Beatles, actually. Really? Well, no, I wasn't a Beatles you fan. Stars, that's man, that's why you didn't play the guitar, probably. That yeah, yeah, I tried, but uh, mm -hmm. I was into the skiffle. Period, you know. really? Yeah. Never didn't you ever do the old string, you know, on the on the on the tea chest? No, no. You didn't do that? No, I never did that. Oh yeah, it's great. The skiffle period was great. But I was a jazz purist, really. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, button down, Ivy League stuff, short haircut. Oh, that was, was really yeah. No, that was happening then. I didn't you know. So you didn't like the Beatles then? No, but the I mean the haircuts were interesting. They were well. indeed. <laughs> and and the trousers. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's, uh, no, it's great. Uh, that's the next thing we're going to hear. Um, I think it's uh, Love Me Do by the Beatles. Here we are on MTV, enjoying uh, being guest VJs, as you call it, and uh, we're halfway through the tour. Mr. Lake, how's your voice holding up, dear boy? Well, just about, Cozy, you just about. Cracking yeah. through a, a real good crack last night. Yeah. And how are the fingers, Mr. Emerson? Oh, fine. It's been hell, though, hasn't it? It has been, been, been tough, but it's been fun. It's, hell it's been there. lots of fun, folks. Yeah. We've got a lot more music to play to you tonight, and so we're going to go on to some more tracks after this break. Right. the wrong way around. That's really good, you know. That's clever, I mean, isn't it? I'll tell you what. It takes a long time I to iron that. Up. That was fantastic. You did like that. But I'll tell you what, it's got absolutely nothing to do with Genesis, which apparently is the next video. Is that, that the next show? Oh, but wait, after the signature tune. Okay. Yeah. Genesis. The invisible touch. <laughs> Have we finished yet? <laughs> that was uh, ZZ Top, but one of my one of my favourite videos, Rough Boys. And uh, this is going to be the cosy power monologue here. So Johnny Carson, you better watch out. We're going to go from one set of legs from uh, Rough Boys into several sets of legs. This is Robert Palmer, and I didn't mean to turn you on. So take it away, Robert. You've just been listening to Steve Winwood, and that was Higher Love. Um, Steve Winwood, I've always admired. Um, right back in the 60s, he was playing in the Marquee, where I used to play with a band called The Nice. I uh, once did a version of I'm a Man, which was a Steve Winwood composition. <clears throat> I don't sing too good. I uh, have athlete's voice. When I sing, people run a mile. Um, now, we'll take a commercial break now. <laughs> 